Dieu soit loué. It is such a blessing to see you safe and sound. This belongs to you. Bless you, whoever you are. You have our eternal gratitude. <clears throat> I believe you've met Monsieur Julien Raymond from distant Saint-Domingue. He's one of the most eminent members of our organization. And you? Mademoiselle? What should we call you? My name is Aegis. Ah, yes. The Aegis. The mighty shield and scourge of Zeus. I wonder... Earlier, by the Pont Neuf, when you touched Monseigneur's ring, can you explain what happened? The ring called to me. It compelled me to reach out and take it. Come now. The moment I touched it, I was transported. Somewhere else. It was the same strange world that you were in, Monseigneur. Hell, you mean? Or purgatory? I saw things there. I saw Monseigneur giving a sermon. What wickedness is this? This explains the moment when you froze. And this isn't the only time you've experienced something like this, n'est-ce pas? That is correct. It also happened with two objects I found in Place Dauphine. And what happened there? That is where I found your Bible and your cross, Monseigneur. How did you know they belonged to me? They demanded to be returned to you. You did not regain consciousness until I did so. This is madness. Let us not be so quick to judge, Monseigneur. I witnessed the moment when your cross was taken from you. Then I saw you being locked in that box. Eh bien voilà. It is just as I suspected. Here, Aegis, look at this. Over the course of my research, I unearthed this ancient document. I believe I have finally uncovered its meaning. It's a triangle with an identical inscription at each corner. Nimi, memory in ancient Greek. Then in the center, there is an open eye which symbolizes awakening. Do you understand? The images you saw, Aegis, were Monseigneur de la Farge's own memories. Three echoes of the past tied to personal objects of his. Three Nimi's memories which some dark alchemy had taken from him. Without them, his mind would have remained lost, incomplete. He would never have regained consciousness. But by returning these three objects to him, Aegis, you were able to save his immortal soul. Tell me, Aegis, when you were at the clerk's office at the Châtelet, did you perhaps see a leather wallet near the abbot's documents? No, Monseigneur. Ah, that is unfortunate. Most unfortunate. Monseigneur, what task did you entrust to the abbot? The Holy Office ordered me to keep an eye on the Comte de Cagliostro. This charlatan imagines himself to be the heir of Mesmer, the magnetizer, and seems to have ingratiated himself with the king. There have been disturbing reports about him that could lead to his excommunication. It is said that he can make the dead speak. Can you imagine? I asked the abbot to investigate the surroundings of Eugène de Vaucanson's workshop, where the Count had been seen coming and going for several weeks. I cannot disclose the details of what he discovered there, but it may well be related to the events that have plunged Paris into mourning. That other world where you were held prisoner, do you still feel its effects? This other world, as you call it, is just is none other than hell itself, Gehenna, the place the Lord sends those who worship the beast. But hell didn't keep me. Has God given me a chance to redeem myself, perhaps? I bid you farewell, Monseigneur. Wait just a moment, s'il vous plaît. You are one of Cagliostro's creatures, are you not? What do you mean? When were you... When did you... Awaken. I do not understand, Monseigneur. 
Well, well, that is to say, you talk, you think, you seem to act with some sort of free will. This was not always the case, that much is clear. You must agree that not all automates are as sophisticated as yourself. I'm attempting to unravel the mystery of your true nature. Tell me, what are your very first memories? That is a question I am unable to answer. How strange. In that case, you must surely be able to tell me who taught you what you know. What I know, Monseigneur? Hmm. How can I put it in a way that you'll understand? For example, you call me Monseigneur. How do you know that this is how one addresses a member of the clergy of my rank? I cannot explain it. I believe... Go on, Aegis. I believe that this knowledge is not mine. Well, I never. Did you hear that, Abbot? I caught every word, mon ami.
Monsieur de Lafayette, you are safe and sound. Safe and sound indeed, but with a broken soul. I have just returned from Place Dauphine. I understand, Monsieur. The Guard National. I was too late. All these brave men cut down in a single attack. Why was I not among them? Alas, I am condemned to outlive them and to witness an even greater calamity. What disaster do you fear, Monsieur? It's a highly sensitive matter. I've been waiting in vain for a message of the utmost importance. Can you tell me more about it? Ma foi, at this point, I don't really have a choice. You can speak freely. Have no fear. Before the King's attack, I sent a squad of horsemen on a very important assignment. They were to collect a precious cargo at Gros Caillou, not far from the Hotel des Invalides. What sort of cargo? I'm sorry, Aegis, but I swore on my life to keep it a secret. All I can tell you is that it would give us a decisive advantage. But I haven't heard from my men. I'm worried that the exchange may have met with misfortune. It is paramount that I learn what happened and who has the cargo now. The future of the kingdom depends on it. Since it's so important, I will go there myself and attempt to solve this mystery. Monsieur Lavoisier. Madame, you're my guardian angel. I don't know anything about you or what drives you, but I owe you my life and can refuse you nothing. How do you intend to counter the King's actions? Unfortunately, we don't have the upper hand. For now, we can only hope to protect ourselves from him. I am convinced that something is afoot, something that could destroy all our hopes in an instant. You have my full attention. You should know that I am a gunpowder commissioner. As such, I oversee the provision of gunpowder to the kingdom's arsenals, La Senal de Paris in particular. For the past two days, a large quantity of gunpowder from Mars saint has been sitting near Les Invalides. It's in a warehouse by the factories. But the men I sent to take possession of the cargo and transport it to the arsenal have gone missing. Do you realize what this means? The gunpowder could have fallen into our enemy's hands. It's possible. One thing is certain. It's enough to destroy half of Paris. Whether it is still in the warehouse or has fallen into the wrong hands, we must find it urgently. Then, if possible, we must neutralize it. How? Simply by placing it in contact with water. Nothing could be easier in theory, but we must find a way to flood it. Flood the gunpowder! <laughs> You're out of your mind, Lavoisier. We're in the most desperate of situations, and you want to deprive us of such a valuable resource. What will our cannons use once we have formed our army of patriots? Your army, Marquis, is presently but a figment of your imagination. I see. So you're one of those men who would sound the retreat before the battle has even begun. I will go to the warehouse. Once I have located the powder, I will decide what to do with it. Ah, you're back. Do you bring me glad tidings? The abbot is safe and sound. He is at the Société des Amis des Noirs, with Monsieur Raymond and the Bishop of Nancy. Very well. Very well. May Providence allow them to reach us safely. Though I despise war, we must rally the people for battle as soon as possible. A reliable source tells me the arsenal at Les Invalides is overflowing with weapons, but a royal automat guards it. I now have no doubt that you are capable of defeating such a creature. But are you prepared to go back into the fray? Yes, I am. Very well. Try to clear the way so we can access the Hotel des Invalides. Once you've done that, 
We'll take care of the rest. A handful of Patriots are already there. Their task was to open a passage to the east, through the Faubourg Saint-Germain. Very well. I will go and find them. Were you present when the Estates General was dissolved? Oui, madame. I had a front row seat. I witnessed what it cost to defy the crown. We laid bare before the king the abject misery of his subjects. It was more than he could suffer. So he had the people's representatives dispersed by means of bayonets. At least we only had to contend with soldiers made of flesh and blood. Positively angelic compared to the machines that have swept through Paris. Goodbye, Monsieur de Robespierre. There is no hope of reaching Les Invalides by the moat. I shall have to go round it through the Faubourg Saint-Germain. According to Monsieur de Robespierre, his men have cleared a path for me. Pierre's men, they perished in the line of duty. The grass. I, 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 I don't want to die. Not like this. Oh, if I had known, I would have set fire to that monster factory long ago. 
A monster factory? Volkansson's demonic forges. The Gehenna where you were smelted, just like all the murderers of your kind. Monsieur, I have no intention of harming you. I have come to put an end to the King's actions. If you're telling the truth, then go away, and let me live! place in the Luxembourg Gardens. If I could find out where it was, I could track down Atanias.
must carry on, I beg you! I'll never make it. I'm out of breath. Don't run more, dear Gia. Soon, sir, I have just a bit more. We're almost there. ravaged the church and slaughtered the faithful.
They're back. It's going to be all right. This machine is alone, and the door is barricaded. It won't hold. Did you see how easily those demons entered the church? Don't be afraid. I mean you no harm. Oh, Seigneur. He can speak. What? What do you want with us, Automat? What happened in this church? You should know. It was your kind that slaughtered these lambs. I don't think those who were able to escape stand much of a chance either. 